So next, I think, will be getting it powered. So this is the original power supply that came with it. 5 volt, two, 220 volts in, 5 volt, 1 amp out. Um, I haven't tried powering it on yet. This is the this is the 220 in. This is the 5 volts out. DIN, of course, three pin DIN actually. And um, got a big beefy transistor there. So I think I think these are diodes for the rectification. Um, maybe that's there to adjust the um, the output voltage. Maybe if the input voltage is a bit fluctuating, you can um, use that. Maybe I don't know. Um, um, these. This is a uh, inverter buffers. Yeah, um, these transformers. I don't know mini transformers. We've got to get from two twenty down to five volts somehow. Um, yeah. So I've already had to reflow on the big um, forty seven hundred microfarad capacitor. Already had to reflow that. That had come off. So yeah, I'm a bit. <laughs> I don't want to plug this in. Um, yeah, you know, like as I said, normally I would just replace these, you know, when you get a power supply. But you know, part of the charm is that they are Soviet era. Um, you know, some of these wires are like really, like, like they're gonna break off in the like these red ones. Um, these ones here, so I'm a bit cautious of those. Um, single sided. So maybe I can draw a circuit out and try and figure something out. But anyway, so that's, and, and yeah, the idea is I'm going to put this into a, a separate box. So I want to keep, I want to use it, um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll put that aside for now. Um, I have made a um, banana plug to DIN uh, so I can power it from my lab, from my power supply on the bench um, so that was the first thing I did let me plug her in the um, I say the the original power supply has only got three pins um, according to hit this one and four is five volts and three and five are ground. So we've got four pins in use, only two needed, four pins in use, and we've got a five pin in there. So one and four are five volts. One and four, let me have a close up look first. Um, Maybe not. Okay, I don't know where my. Can I see it in there? That looks to be three. So that seems to be three and four. Two. Hmm. Three and four. Two down the bottom. So one and five must be there. I'll buzz it out anyway. Um, so I've got the cable made up. I've tested it, it works. Plug her in. Um, so there's not, unfortunately, I, can't, I need to get the video cable done. That's that's the next next thing. But let me get, get the power sorted first. Uh, switched off. Plug her in. Um, I assume this was an on-off switch, but it, it seems to make no difference to power consumption. But, you know, maybe it's not working. Okay, so if we switch, okay, so 300 milliamps, 300 milliamps it's drawing at the moment, um, 1.4 watts, and that switch does nothing, <laughs> so I don't know what that's for. So it's doing something. Nothing getting hot yet. Okay. So what I thought instead, because it's less than an amp, I might make a USB to DIN power cable. I thought that might be something something different. 
So let me power that off and get started on that. So here's the end result. Uh, got my USB on one end, which I think turned out quite well. And I've got my uh, DIN plug on the other. So that's all ready to go. Here's the, uh, the DIN and banana plug one I made earlier. Um, yeah, uh, just got to uh, get the RGB cable ready now. Um, but that basically plugs in like that. Probably, <laughs> maybe the plug's too good for the... Maybe I should have just used the cheaper plastic one. But there we go, so that's all ready to go. Um, I can... Where is it? There we go. <laughs> Ready to go.